Are you just now 18 or freshly out of high school? If your answer was, yeah. <laughs> then you should listen real quick because I have a few good tips for you that I wish I would have known when I turned 18. So before I start, one thing that really changed my mindset was, was this idea that money isn't real. So obviously money is real, it's a tangible currency. Bitch you are. <laughs> But what I mean by that is that money only has value because we give it value. If nobody actually gave money value, it would be just another piece of paper or a piece of metal that was worth nothing but just, I guess like nickel or copper, whatever you want to call that, the, those precious metals. To me, the real currency is time. Everybody is given 24 hours in a day. You cannot get more. Everybody is just given 24 hours. So there, it's an even playing field. My goal is to buy time. And how do you buy time? Shit, I don't even know. Like, I can't even tell you that. Like, Money. So if you have enough money, you can enjoy your life and do the things you want to do without having to worry about your bills, your finances, your mortgage, all that stuff. So the goal is to become financially independent to where you don't even need to worry about any of that stuff. I think once you realize that time is the real currency in life, that is when everything comes into play and you kind of realize things you never would have known before your whole perspective just changes like mine did. Right, so if you don't know me, my name is Dylan Presley and I'm here on YouTube to try to teach people, especially Gen Z, about personal finance. My goal is to really spread personal finance awareness, if that's even a thing, to Gen Z and just get this whole generation kind of moving forward. You know, we're not kids anymore. A lot of us are 18 now, a lot of us are older than that. I'm 21. So I think it's about time we take our lives our lives into our own hands and really start making something of ourselves. You already know what it is. Little Ted, the youngest flex of the century. I'm only... Happy October. I got a little pumpkin in the back seat. So I thought that was kind of cool. And he'll be chilling there just for the whole videos. Before we get into the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out and helps the algorithm. So it gets my videos across more people, which is very helpful. So I appreciate those of you and really anybody who watches my videos, so thank you. So here are a few things that you should do or look into as soon as you turn 18. These are things that I wish I would have done when I was 18, I just didn't really know any better, so here I am trying to tell you guys not to make my same mistakes. If you are in any other generation, this can still apply to you, you know, it's right now is the best time to start, better now than never, so here we go. So the first thing you should do when you turn 18 is get your own checkings and savings account with only your name on them, so only you can access them. Make sure that this bank has no extra fees like maintenance fees or yearly fees. It is a privilege for the bank to hold your money because they make money off your money. They invest it, they loan it out. And what are you really paying for? I mean, isn't that all online? I mean, they just press one button to transfer your money anyway, so do not pay any maintenance fees. That is just a complete trap and scam. My money doesn't jiggle jiggle. It folds. Like I said, it's a privilege for them to have you as a customer, so don't let them try to make it seem like you are the one that's being benefited here, because they're the ones making millions and billions of dollars a year. The second one is something that I always harp on on my channel, and this is, of course, get a credit card and build your credit history and your credit score. Like I said in other videos, just use your credit card on simple purchases and pay off each balance in the billing cycle so you just pay no interest. Always, if you can, pay no interest because interest right now especially is really, really high. The third thing that is very, very important is to pay yourself first. So what I mean by that is put at least 10% of your paycheck inside a savings account so you have that as an emergency fund. Who knows, one day you could get sick, you could break an arm or a leg and you can't work for a little bit and you may need some money to fall back on while you can't work. So it's always very important to have an emergency fund. The fourth thing I wish I would have done was I wish I would have made my money work for me earlier. So what I mean by making your money work for you. I don't know what the fuck she's saying, but girl, I am living. Is I mean by investing your money. I wish that I would have at least invested into index funds when I was 18. An index fund is basically a one share that has fractions of other shares in that one share. So you have all these companies like Google, Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA. That's on Amazon? Where you get that? And like 500 other shares all in one share price. So great index funds to look into are 
the S&P 500, um, VOO, QQQ. Ones like that are very popular on, on Robinhood and Weebles, so I'd recommend looking into index funds and investing your money because you have so much time on your hands to just let that money sit in those investments and let it let it rack up money over the years. Do not worry about the day-to-day -day price in those index funds because in the long run, no matter if it's a, a um, red day or a green day, green day, you get it? Girl, bye, you're ugly. In 10 years or 20 years, that's gonna be one tiny little blip in the whole chart. And what I mean by that is if you look at the recessions like 2008 or the um, Great Depression, so of course they crashed insanely low, but you look above like 30, 20 plus years, 10 plus years, it's still way higher than it was even at the peak before the recession. Another thing I wish I did earlier was open up a Roth IRA account. This account is basically a retirement account and you're putting in money and once you're 59 and a half years old, you can take all that money out and it's all tax free because you've already paid taxes on it. So, and by the way, though, that money that you put in your account, also you collect dividends in your account each month. So the more money you have in there, the more dividends you collect. And by collecting dividends, your account value snowballs as it, it keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. I would pick someone out and throw snowballs at them until they started throwing snowballs back. If you invest enough money, you will be set when you're finally retired and done. Another thing I wish I would have done when I was 18 was keeping a budget and sticking to it. When I was younger, I wasted so much money on things that I wasn't even paying attention to. I was just falling victim to consumerism left and right, left and right. Help me! No taking my funds from my hands like that. Keep a, a track of what you're buying, what your necessities are, what your wants are, and see where you can cut costs at. I'm sure you can find ways to save extra money where you can. It also prepares you for when you're older and you really actually have to budget your money. You have no other choice because you live on your own. And the last thing is something I think that is very, very important in today's society is getting a hustle and looking forward and at the same time, trying to figure out what your goals are and working backwards to see how you can reach your goals. When I was younger, I felt like I had no direct purpose in life. Yeah. Bo -ho, bo -ho, bo -ho. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I kind of was just lost. And the sooner you know what you want to do, the sooner you can work backwards to see how you can actually get there. And what I mean by getting a hustle is I mean, go home after your after your nine to five or whatever job you're working and work for yourself. Do you maybe do you make YouTube videos, Have a maybe have a blog, a website, um, create a social media following, do something for yourself, invest in yourself, so that one day if your actual nine to five doesn't work out, you'll have some kind of passive income to fall back onto. I believe that with the internet, we have so much access to so much free information with, in YouTube and Google and everything. And I think that we've only hit the tip of the iceberg with the internet. We're only how many years into all this technology? I mean, look, I don't really know how long it's been, but it, we have so much more time to develop new technologies and stuff. So keep your eyes peeled and watch out for new things and just keep an open mind, honestly. Anyways, those were a few different tips that I recommend if you have just recently turned 18 or, or as soon as you can, honestly. Like I said, time is money. Yeah, also, a few of you guys have reached out to me and, and um, asked about stocks and talked to me about finance and I just love that because that really shows that you guys are really trying to change your lives and I really admire that. So thank you for reaching out to me. I think it means a lot. Thanks for watching my video. You can follow me on Instagram at dylanpresley.17 and also on TikTok at dylanpresley.17. And again, don't forget to like the video if you liked it and just subscribe to follow my journey in Gen Z finance and young adult finance. I really just wanna help you guys out. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. And just keep in mind that time is your real currency.